Well, as you can tell by the caption, I'm here at the Grand Lodge of Tennessee, right here in downtown Nashville. Actually, this is on 107th Avenue. And that's the building there I'm about to go in. And I hope I get a really good tour. Uh, probably won't take me about an hour to get the tour, but uh, I'll do my best to keep this video short. Across the street, some really nice churches. I'll tell you about one thing about churches that I like to get tours of also. I got a, another video that's got a tour of a church in Savannah. It's really nice. I always say, if the, as far as buildings go, historic values, if you're ever in a major city, Masonic buildings like this one, many government buildings have got some historic significance um, and are really nice, and also churches. So if you get a chance to get tours, you always take advantage of that, because I'm just out here living the coolest life. Well, I knocked and got admittance. How about that? <laughs> they actually let me in. I guess they don't know my reputation. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, so this is in the in, through the main front door here, and uh, they've got a really nice uh, the the marble that they have on the sides is really nice. Me, I'm a fan of architecture, so I really like this kind of stuff. Uh, Grand Lodge building, enchantment fun. You got this sitting here. You can. Uh, Read that if you zoom in on it enough and see what all that is. I've got a really nice square of compasses up here. Uh, looks like it's made of wood. That's real nice. It's about four feet tall, so that's a real nice accent piece. Uh, the nice banister staircase is going up. We'll go up that way in a minute and see the, uh, the main lodge room, but I wanted to take you down here to where the, uh, this is the, uh, uh, someone else is talking. This is the, uh, 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 museum that they have here but uh, but you can see there's there's law offices here and uh, and everything but uh, they've got the uh, different offices on the sides it's actually owned this building is actually owned by the uh, used to be owned by the Scottish Rite here locally but now it's owned by the, the Grand Lodge which is uh, kind of neat in contrast because the one in Georgia is owned by the York Rite and then not the Grand Lodge but uh, it's a really nice facility here so right now I'm in one of the main rooms, I guess you'd say, almost like a foyer room. It's really nice, it's got the columns and everything. And then they've got their past masters, grandmasters here, but also the sitting grandmaster here, which actually, he's here. So I got a great chance to meet the, our current grandmaster and uh, uh, of the great state of Tennessee, the volunteer state. But uh, he was giving me a quick tour around here. Is there anything you'd like to add about the, the, the facility? It's a, it's a great facility. Um, it's one of the oldest facilities around in the southeast and nice. like I told you before we are fortunate enough to have an auditorium where we can have our Grand Lodge session here on site. Which we're going to see in just a minute. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to Tennessee. Appreciate you. And, appreciate uh, thank you. you for stopping by our Grand Lodge building. Thank you for letting me, let me get a tour. I appreciate yes, you. Thank you. Right. Have a good day. <laughs> thank you. You just in town just for the day. Just for the day. Just for the day. Blowing through. So that was that was a really good treat to be able to uh, get a chance to meet the meet their grandmaster. The rest of their grandmasters go back in time. They're all chronological. Or neat thing he said that when you walk in the building from the main door here, all the way to here, you automatically see the grandmaster's picture. So whoever the sitting grandmaster is, that's where their picture goes. And so every year when they get a new grandmaster, his picture will go there, and everyone else gets moved around, moved around moved around until you get down the hallway and then they put them down the hallway so so that, that was a neat treat but uh really nice facility so let's go upstairs and take a look at the big lodge room but before we go upstairs they uh they gave me this piece of paper here you can see it and i'll take a picture of it and put it somewhere in the video uh it talks about this uh this facility but this is their uh uh regalia room and also a lot of historic artifacts that they have for the great state of Tennessee. Basically their museum. A lot of older collars. They do not put hands on glass. They've actually had, they've got a curator here and which, is, which I thought was kind of unusual, but some of the things they bring in are um, Masonic type organizations that aren't necessarily Masonic. For example, this is the Order, Independent Order of Odd Fellows. I've got another video where I did a, a, a tour of an Odd Fellows group. Be sure to look for that video. Uh, Maybe in one of my playlists for Masonic playlists. But uh, this is this is a, a display that will be on tour. That will be going to other organizations, other uh, 
they don't own all this is what I'm saying. It may go to other museums, but they got uh, independent order of the odd. I always want to call them international order of the odd fellows, but they're not. They're independent order of the odd fellows. But they've got a lot of, uh, a lot of other artifacts here. It's pretty unusual. Here we go. Uh, but uh, I really like the, uh, the window here. It's a really nice depiction. A lot of times you'll see different, different kinds of pictures like this um, that are up at different lodges in lodge buildings. Lots to see here at the Grand Lodge of Tennessee. If you're ever in town, definitely you want to come by here and stop and get a tour. They'd be glad to give you a tour. They actually have uh, full-time employees that work here. So when I was walking through, there was five employees here. Um, one was a grand secretary. Uh, there was a, an additional secretary working up front, but uh, really neat facility. I like the, uh, the extra pendants here. And then up here on the back wall, what you'll see is some fellows that might look familiar to you, maybe, possibly, if you know anything at all about history. Some guy by the name of that guy there, Sam Houston. <laughs> he was a member of the great state of Tennessee. Yeah, you recognize that one. That guy's Andrew. Andrew Jackson right here. So we've got a lot of uh, uh, James Polk, Andrew Johnson, and this guy down here, John Ross. He was the, uh, the, the primary chief of the Cherokee Nation and also a member of Tennessee Masonry. So uh, uh, really neat stuff in here. Uh, take a look at it. So now let's go upstairs to the main, main lodge room. So I just hoofed it up the stairs. <sighs> Boy. I'm kinda, I'm out of shape, Fatty McFatten. <laughs> so, anyway, okay, I'm good. All right, so uh, there's a stairwell here I just came up, but there's a lot of little small cubby hole rooms around here. That's storage. Let's not go in there. I saw this room here that's got some pews in it. So I don't know what they do in here. This looks like a regular lodge room. Interesting. Maybe I'll go down here at the end and see if I can turn the lights on since I'm in here by myself. I'll be sure to turn the lights off before I leave, I promise. Let's see if there's a light switch down here. Well, I don't see any. Sometimes they'll be outside. But anyway. Okay, so this is a, a, a really nice lodge room here. I like the, the shaped ceiling. These are actually... They look like some type of tile. For a minute, I thought they were wood, but the, they're, a nice, they're a nice tile. Here you see the columns, older style columns. I know, I, I wish I had more light in here, but, uh, but I don't. We just got to deal with it. Um, this, of course, is uh, Scottish right here. So we got your Scottish right logo here. You got your York right logo here. This is actually the Commander logo here. Uh, this would be where your junior warden would sit. You can see it's not really set up for a lodge. They could definitely use it for a lodge, that's for sure, because it's, it's set up perfectly, whereas you get your columns down here uh, in the west. Uh, you even get your, your Star of David up top on the, on the chandelier. It's way up there is a Star of David. That's pretty neat. Of course, the, the Masonic G. Here's where your master would sit. Nice flooring, nice tile flooring. There's another lodge in Columbus that's a, a Mount Hermon Lodge. It's got, got a nice flooring lot like this in the center. Theirs has got carpet around the edges. This is, this is tiled throughout, so there's tile over here. But uh, really nice, really nice. Let's go here to the main room. I know this video is getting long, isn't it? Uh, let's see what they got down here. So they got some pictures. Uh, oh, look at this. This is they've got a line of pictures of all the lodges in Tennessee. And I say all the lodges in Tennessee. You look here and you think, well, this might be all the lodges. Well, then you look, there's some more here, there's some more here, there's some here, there's some here behind me. So I really like the fact there's so many that are different. You've got your two-story lodges, your one-story lodges, some in your older buildings. This one here is actually upstairs. It reminds me of Magnolia Lodge in Blakely, Georgia, uh, a lot like it. That's an unusual one there. See, the, see that building there? A lot of these buildings, you'll find that, uh, uh, especially when they look like these, they were actually built as Masonic lodges. Whereas when you find buildings like this, 
Typically, these were a storefront at one time. Like this one here was probably some type of storefront. This was probably a Masonic Lodge. <laughs> but especially if you see them out in the middle of nowhere like this, normally they built this as a, as a Masonic Lodge. But these are, these are some really nice, I think it's a nice touch. It's maybe something we should consider at, um, at our own Grand Lodge in Georgia is to uh, get pictures of, not decent pictures, of the um, of the, all the different lodges from, from around the country. One, it helps you if you're ever going to go visit. You can say, "Hey, I've been there," or "I'm going to go to this one here." Also, that's what it looks like, so you know what to expect before you get there. So here's our main lodge room. The uh, this entryway reminds me of the one in um, uh, the Scottish Rite in D.C. Has got a nice entryway like this on both sides. So they actually have their Grand Lodge session in this building. It's actually part of their bylaws that they have their session here. They can seat 1,300 people inside of this facility. It's very steep also. They've got their, their chairs set around. They've got an altar in the middle. This isn't one of those altars that you open because, well, it's a little, it's a little thin across the bottom, but it is really nice. It's in really good condition. This is like a, a felt or velvet, I guess, on top. It's really nice. Wish it was a little brighter in here, but you can still see they've got a lot of drop-down curtains. We have this a lot in um, and in Scottish Rite buildings because we'll do um, different degrees that we'll do, and we'll have a lot of drop-downs. We probably got three times as many drop-downs as that, which you can't even see on this. But uh, there's a lot of drop-downs up here that will come down. If I come in here and the nope. Still can't see Jack. Sometimes when you get rid of some of the light, you can see. Anyway, but uh, we're up here on stage. I love the chairs. Really nice on workmanship that they do in that. They've got some lights down here that are built in, so they got glass over top of them. I thought it was, it was empty. I was going to step through it, but it's got plexiglass on it. Really nice. I love the big chandelier, too. It's massive. That chandelier is probably 10 feet across, if not 12. It's a nice big round chandelier. And that big, that big circle there is like 25 feet. Really nice. It goes way on up there. That looks like oh, 20 rows all the way up. There's another entryway there. We'll go on down that way there and see what we can find. Again, the, this has got the matching chairs at this end. And you can see... Uh, again, masonically speaking, uh, two steps down here. There's three down there at that end. And over here, if you wanted to set your uh, junior warden over here, he'd set up here on one step where they might put a put a one step up there for him. Well, this looks like just restrooms and uh, ladies' rooms and other meeting rooms. But we're up here on the third floor. Oh, they've got a nice short right banner down there. We'll go see in just a second. So anyway, uh, sooner than you think, maybe right now. Um, I'll let him come up and turn off all those lights because I don't know how to turn them all off. Uh, any light that I turn on, I turned off, I assure you. <laughs> okay. I may be able to turn off one of them. Yeah, that in there I can. Hey, hey, the G is still on, but other than that, I'll let him get down. I appreciate him. Brother Roy, I think he's the general secretary. He he got the lights for me, so that was real, real good of him. So that's a nice little uh, banner there at the stairwell. It's got the guy in the um, from the York right in his uh, commander regalia. And you can see just the old style banisters, really nice. They've got one here at this end and another one at the other end of the hallway. So they got the dual banisters going up. And they go down and you get another level, which is to the dining room, which I may show you in just a minute. But wait, there's more. So this is, uh, well, I took it through the library, which was across the hallway there. But here's another library that's got mostly books in it. And also a lot of past grandmasters, some of the old school pictures. That guy there looks familiar. That's because his name's Andrew Jackson. <laughs> Oliver Hayes. So you see a lot of a lot of these older 
older um, oil paintings are really nice. These look like true oil paintings, not, not the fake ones. And you know the kind I'm talking about. <laughs> These look like really, really nice oil paintings. But it's got, it's got their date on here. Like this here says Robert uh, Carruthers, 1849. So that one there, that first one there is 1849. Wish I didn't have quite as much glare on them. So you can go back from there. So that's, that's, that's impressive. Really nice that they do this to honor these uh, past grandmasters. Um, if you don't want a past gra grandmaster, basically you're like the head mason in the entire state. Is what you are. You're like the big cheesy. It's an elected position. A lot of them will run. Um, they'll run through what they call a line of progression. Line of progression isn't necessarily part of code. It's just kind of an unspoken rule that, yes, this brother's going to, he's a deputy grandmaster, so next year he's going to be grandmaster. Or some jurisdictions might have, he's the deputy, he is the senior warden for the Grand Lodge, so next year he's going to be the Grand Master. It just depends if they have a Deputy Grand Master or not. A lot of these books have got the different significance, like that one there. That's the 33rd degree. Um, talks about the Grand Encampments. Really nice collection of books. Um, what are these things? I guess these just, these just hang on the banners when you come in here. You can hang your banners on them. But a really nice place to uh, sit down and, uh, and enjoy yourself and have have meetings so they let people come in here and do that but uh, actually that one there says grand york right so i'm gonna go down this hallway here because the hallway we were just looking at has all the uh grand masters here it goes down that hallway so this one here says grand york right office okay so these are actually still pictures of past grand masters he is 1862 actually he's Strange, he's 1860, 1861, 1862. Typically, you just serve one year. No telling what happened there. Uh, maybe he wanted to, and different laws and rules that they have, they let, let him do that. Some of these other pictures you see here are uh, grand secretaries, from what I gather. These brothers here are grand secretaries. So they honor their grand secretaries that way. Grand secretaries are typically, normally you do serve more than one year as grand secretary. Uh, let's see if I can find some. Anyway. That's why I take you down there, take a look at that. And I don't believe there's any other rooms I haven't showed you. So I'm gonna close out this video and get back on the road because uh, luckily for me, I'm gonna be raising my brother tomorrow because he's become a master mason in, in uh, Austin Lodge number 128 in Indiana, Tipton, Indiana. So I'm gonna go there uh, tomorrow, maybe do a video, I don't know. Uh, probably not because I already did a video of that lodge. But I may try to go visit another uh, lodge. I'm also gonna go to a, <laughs> I'm also going to go to a Notre Dame game this weekend, so I'm going to do a, a video of, the, of that stadium. I've never done one of that stadium before. Done, many, done a couple of them from, the, um, from that area uh, of Notre Dame itself and, and the campus and Touchdown Jesus and all that. So, But uh, I'm going to do a, a video of that. So be looking for that coming up soon. But I'm going to get this and post it as quickly as possible, hopefully this week. Because now, be sure to like and subscribe. Send this to your friends, especially your Masonic friends. And ask them if they've ever been to the Grand Lodge of Tennessee. They can now get a tour. Because you are now leaving the coolest lives. But before we go, wait, there is more. <laughs> they've actually got uh, additional rooms downstairs, uh, which these, of course, are uh, you get your chapter council logos here and your commander one there. Um, so this is a place that you can rent out. Most Masonic buildings you can rent out. They'd be glad to have you rent the space. You put some more lights in here. They got chandeliers all over this place. This would be a great place for a wedding reception. You can have the wedding upstairs in the main room. They do the reception down here. Lots of seating down here. It looks like you could probably sit, what, six at a table, one, two, three, four, five. You got 30. You got, you could probably sit 80 people down here easily. 80 people, probably, probably 120. But, uh, they got more pictures of, past grandmasters <laughs> you got to put them somewhere you got you got 200 of them or whatever so uh i know george has got that we're at uh 235 right now i think is what we have but uh, so there's there's a lot um they've got a lot of pictures too so they got to find some place to put them so they keep putting them down here and around around the room they got they got some more empty space down there they can go but uh nice place be sure you get a chance to rent out you can rent out here because now you are finally leaving the coolest life <laughs>